Steve not only voices Gru, but he also has come up and designed a brand new voice for his brother Drew. So you've got Drew who looks like Gru, except that while Gru is completely bald, Drew has this beautiful head of blonde hair, which immediately makes Gru very jealous and envious. Um, but personality-wise, they're opposites. You know, Gru is grumpy, and Drew is very lively and very gregarious. Uh, Gru kind of has sort of a reserved, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's a character that isn't very physically demonstrative of his feelings. You know, Drew is very touchy-feely invading your space. So, you two are villains now? I mean, hello, sweetie. Uh-oh, busted. Lucy is once again voiced by uh, the extremely talented Kristen Wiig. Um, and Kristen, uh, she's one of those rare actors who is incapable of giving a bad line reading. I mean, just everything Kristen does is charming, funny, engaging, and she's really brought so much to Lucy as a character, and and I just can never think, you know, even with Eric Guillaume's design, which I love for Lucy, um, I never can think about Lucy without thinking about Kristen's voice. The two are just so inextricably attached. Intruders, hands in the air! I'm gonna make you learn to appreciate me, differentiate me. We've been waiting a long time. <laughs> I, uh, no. The story of the minions in, in the movie uh, is, plays a, a major role. Uh, it, in, in the, at the beginning of the movie, we discover that the minions have heard that Gru has been fired from his job at the Anti-Villain League, and they immediately assume that this means that they're going back to villainy. But when Gru disappoints them and says, no, we're not, that's not in the cards, um, um, uh, one of the minions named Mel, who is the, is the ringleader of the minions in Despicable Me 3, uh, leads a revolt. I guarantee I'll be the greatest thing you've ever had. Pull from the hunky band on the kissy face, 